What's up everybody, Batjack JW here. Uh, got something really cool out for you today. Uh, you've seen it, hopefully you've seen it. Uh, it's made an appearance in the past. Uh, I just felt like, you know what, today might just have to be 1911 day, but uh, that's never a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> if you don't like these old things, you might be at the wrong channel. Um, this is an old Colt 1930 commercial model. Really cool stuff, look at the roll marks absolutely cool stuff my favorite roll mark right there check that out colt automatic caliber 45 rampant pony just look at that beauty probably could sit here and look at that for about <laughs> an hour <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what you can freeze it on that right there <laughs> and you can just admire that um, as i do i love it this was a, uh, a really cool piece. Now, I, uh, I had gotten the opportunity to purchase this. Uh, this came from a, an old rancher, and uh, it was in his collection for 63 years, if you can believe that. Yeah, 63 years this fella had this thing. Uh, really cool piece, and uh, I, for me, a lot of times it's the history on these things, and this one has a really cool history. According to this old fella, uh, he said that uh, the guy that, that this he got this from shot this in uh, Camp Pendleton or something like that. Um, really cool story. You know, it was a it was a kind of a military um, a person that they had it and shot it. Look at those old sights. And uh, so he got it off of him, and he's had it. This one definitely has a lot of the features that I like, and the cool thing is a little bit of a, um, I'm not, of course, I'm not like a serious student of history on these. I even got the original magazine. That's an original cult um, commercial magazine. They're different, and I think it's all about that stamping on the uh, plate. The, the Where I got that one's from, uh, I was uh, educated on that a little bit, I guess. But... This is uh, this is neat because during this time period, this is right as they turned and made the the A1 configuration. Uh, the military, uh, that's why I brought the old war horse out here, the old military gun. They uh, they were starting to go through things. They started to shorten the trigger, put the scalloping on the uh, frame. Uh, they arched the mainspring housing. Notice the uh, Colts had the uh, checkering on the mainspring housing. Uh, so stuff like that that's what they started to do well anything that they did to the military guns the commercial market got so as you can see this one here uh, that one there is 1942 but this one here is even earlier than before that they got the short trigger it's milled it's uh, checkered you got the uh, the arch mainspring housing which is checkered check that out imagine that uh, this one now is cool because it's got that old school wide hammer on it I really like that. It's got a uh, old throwback to the the old sites. They haven't moved on to the other sites yet. So, <laughs> but all in all, it's a really neat gun. Now this one will bite you a little bit in there, but I still love shooting it. It also has the uh, C and the serial number, the prefix on the C, which. Uh, it, uh, from what I understand, makes it more cool. <laughs> C for more cool, I guess. But I'm not so much uh, into the, you know, the, the well, I mean, of course, they, they're they not cheap. They cost a, a pretty penny, but it's the cool factor, the history of these things. That's what it is for me, the history. Now, imagine now today's market, if you could just go and send away for something like this and uh, get it. Uh, you just really can't do that no more. They don't make stuff like this anymore and boy i tell you i, I would trade a hundred modern things for this without uh without even thinking about it you just will not see something like this being made and any longer you know, by colt so really a jewel for the collection so i figured it was a time and a good day to bring it back out thanks for watching guys